Good morning, good time zone, good afternoon, good wherever it may be where you are, bestie. So today we are going to be checking out gameplay for Lens Island. It is in early access on Steam right now. I did get access to the game from the devs and I really appreciate them letting me play the game. Um, it looks very, as you can see, it looks very cozy. It's giving cozy vibes. It's giving survival. It's giving things that I really love in a game. So we're going to check out some gameplay of this game and we're going to see, you know, where it takes us. So let's go ahead and get to the into the game. And if you do like, you know, the game or you want to check out more gameplay or anything please let me know down below in the comments and we can also we can always do like a couple let's plays on the channel but as well i will link um their information down below so that you can just click on it and go right to the page and you know you could see if you would like to you know play the game so as you can see or hear you see the vibes but you hear the music very relaxing so let's go to play game All right, so I'm gonna create a new world name. I just tested it out the other day. As you can see, it's called Test World and I really didn't do anything. I just made sure that it was working on my computer properly. So I'm gonna name this, uh, let's see, Cozy Haven. Oop, fuck a type. All right, create new game. So then you have, you can do peaceful, standard, or they don't have hardcore yet, but you can see um, it shows peaceful, no backpack drop on death, plants don't die, no damage when falling into void, no starving from food, enemy sight range reduced to 25%, all incoming damage reduced to 50%. Standard is the standard survival game. So it doesn't give you like an overview when you go over standard, but it does for uh, peaceful, which I would, I don't know if that's like a glitch on my end, but um, for the devs, if they were to watch this, I would definitely say, um, yeah, to hover over that and you should have like the same, you know, explanation here so that, you know, someone knows what they're getting into. So for now, of course, because we are cozy girls, boys, days, us, whatever you may be, we are cozy people over here. So we're gonna go peaceful. And then it goes into a creative character. So it says, where is Lynn from? So you would say Jaro Islands, Zengard City, Arcadia Plains, or Garth Hinterlands. Um, and I believe this is just also you choosing like skin color as a way for them to, you know, implement skin color. So of course I'm going to choose this one and we're gonna go next and I'm gonna go feminine, but you could choose masculine or feminine. I'm going to go next. Does Lynn wear shoes? <laughs> says no. Definitely not. I'm going to say definitely not because I don't hardly wear shoes ever in real life. So let's see. We have, oh, so you can still choose. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this hair? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is hair. So I'm actually going to go with, I'm just going to go with black hair. Yeah, let's just go with black hair. Just so you guys can actually see the different hairstyles. We got braids. We got like a bang with like a short bob kind of look. Can you turn the... No, you doesn't look like you can turn the character. So I think I'm going to go with... I'm feeling the braids. I'm just going to go with the braids. So then it looks like we can choose like our tops. And I will say that, of course, like this is a work in progress. So for me, um, this still looks a little bit, even though I chose feminine, this still looks a little bit masculine. Um, but of course, that's something that like they can work on. So we're just going to do the best we can. So let's go through the top. So we have this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Okay. So then we have bottoms. A little skirt, another little skirt. I think I like these. Let's see what kind of top we can do that can make it look more feminine. 
I mean, I guess we can go with this. I mean, again, I feel like the top part of the like torso and the upper chest still looks kind of masculine to me, but it's cool. So let's start game. So it looks like we're jumping into the game. So it looks like your once safe home was destroyed by the voids. The mystery of the darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered. No one understands its power or where it came from. You are ferried to the forgotten island where the lightstone rush began, hoping to build a new life. Let's begin. Okay, so it has a getting started um, up here on the top right hand side. So it looks like it says construct a house, place a bed, build a bench, activate the dungeon of Blisk. So... I'm pretty sure, okay, W-A-S-D is to move, and I'm going to try this also with, um, with, uh, controller in just a second, but, okay, so, construct a house, so I'm pretty sure to construct a house, we probably have to, uh, chop down some trees and stuff, time each attack to trigger a critical hit for more damage, you can deal more damage timing your hits instead of holding down to hit auto. To auto hit. Time your next swing when you see the crit circle expanding. Click during the crit window to trigger a critical hit. Deal bonus damage for landing critical hits. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> I love how peaceful the music is. I don't think I'm doing that right. We're gonna try to just go around. Let me see, maybe if I, I think cause I was using a knife, wait a minute. <laughs> I just realized I had the knife in my hand. So let's try with, okay, that makes sense. There we go. Duh. All right. Then let's chop this one down. I do, I think I would really love the more of the peaceful, even if I wasn't to like, be on here playing with you guys i will probably go more peaceful because i sometimes in games like i just want to just chill you know i just want to just chill i don't want to have to you know it's like i got some berries and stuff i don't want to have to like do all that extra in games sometimes like fight off stuff and all that like i just want to just want to chill just have a nice little mellow time you know How do we put our tool away? Maybe X. Uh, let's see. So let's look at this while we're here. So this is our resources and it shows you everything that you have. Um, building. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is how you build stuff. This is your whole little build catalog. I like that, I like that. That's super simple. Um, you have the wood building, all that. You have this little section, which is like the decoration section. Oh, look at that plan. Stop it. You know me, I'm, I'm a sucker for a little plan in a cozy game now. And I know some people do not call survival games cozy, but this is definitely giving cozy to me. So special items okay so then we have weapons okay then we have us here it looks like we can get get like armor um every now and then kind of thing so let's see and it says c oh this is your skill points okay okay makes sense m is your map 
All right, all right. But I'm trying to figure out how to unequip what I'm holding. Let's see. <laughs> uh, manage your hot bar and backpack. Drag and lock items to your hot bar to equip them and drag them off your hot bar to unequip. Okay, any equipment, hot bar, I was automatically sent to your chest of storage. Okay. So, I guess I'll just unequip it like that. So, I guess you just have to drag it off the hot bar to unequip it. Which I would think that it would be better to like press X or something, but I don't know if we want to build our house right here. But I think we do need to get some more wood. So, we probably should go back to our tools. Put this back down here. And we should probably like chop down some of these trees up here. How do I? Okay, two. Okay, there we go. See, I am so not used to like playing with uh what is it uh keyboard and mouse i'm used to more playing with controller which i'm gonna try controller here in just a second just to see how you know if it's smooth or if it needs to work um i know some games like are just better with um controller i mean some are better with uh, pc and mouse versus controller so can we not pick that up oh full of wood okay so we can't pick that up so I was kind of thinking, I'm trying to look for like flat, a flat area for our house. We don't want to be like too close to like, you know, let's see, let's go this way. Down this way. Um, I think maybe right here will be a good spot. All right, so let's go in here. So a home is a home without walls. Is this a floor? Okay, this is a ceiling, doorway. Do we not get like a, a floor? Wood hatch. I mean, I guess it can be a like, what am I trying to say? I guess it can be like a grass floor. I mean, I mean, okay. How did I even equip that? But anyway, let's see if there's any like better area over here maybe something with a dirt floor i don't know maybe a grass floor is just gonna have to do for now let's see i want an open area so let's try like right here should be good this is pretty open actually see if we can Find this rock? I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, so. Let's unequip that. Okay, so. Oh, that's menu, not map. I mean, that's map, not menu. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna try to just play some. Uh, also, home. Oh, all homes start with foundation. Drag the first item on your building menu to place a foundation. To edit your builds, enter edit mode with F. Make building easier using camera controls and level switching. Upgrade and change your builds with various styles. Okay, so. I 
All right. So we're gonna place this. Can we not place this here? Or do we need, I don't see, let's see. Wooden wall. Oh, I love that, how you can just, you can zoom out, zoom in, so you can see what you're doing. Uh, let's see, D. Okay, I like that, I like that. Turn the camera. All right, uh, let's see, Q maybe? Okay, let's go out of that and then let's go back into it. Let's see. Oh, so you have wood, you have stone that you can make, you have uh, ornament and pagoda? Pagoda? Ooh, I like that. Okay, so you start off with wood, of course. So, I'm not seeing... Okay, this is ceiling. Ceiling. Maybe I just haven't unlocked the floor yet. Ceiling. Wooden wall. Doorway. Doorway. Yeah, I'm not seeing like a floor. So it's like. Oh, a little skylight. So obviously we can't place that yet because okay so i don't know it's not letting me place anything so i don't know if i just don't have enough wood or what's going on but let's try to find it looks like there was like a little um look at these little crabbies um on the map there looked like there was like I don't know what this is right here, but I want to try to find that. So let's go that way and try. Oh, did not mean to do that. You know what? And actually, while we're doing this, let's can we pan the camera around? No, it doesn't look like you can turn the camera. OK, so now I'm using controller. So we're going to see how controller works on the game. Because for me, controller is always better. OK. Ooh. Hey there. It's next, like X or B. How do we go to the next? Okay, so we'll just do controller for this part. <laughs> hey there, welcome to Humble Shop. Who are you? I'm Jared the Blacksmith, and you can probably tell. What do you have for sale? Tell me more about yourself. What do you have for sale? So resources used for crafting and as well as armor pieces and weapons. You can gather these resources yourself if you want, but some of them might be hard to find unless you're willing to go into the caves. You can go down the mine shaft right there, but I suggest you go prepared. Thanks for the heads up. Anytime. Speaking of that, have, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Okay, so... Okay, looks like you can go into the mine there. This is super cute, a little peaceful area. Okay, so you can buy or sell here. Let's talk to them. Oh, her name's Steph, just like me. <laughs> Says, hi there. I don't think I've seen you before. What can I do for you? Say, who are you? My name is Steph, nice to meet you. I've been in this little encampment for a few weeks now. Uh, what do you have for sale? I sell a large variety of flowers, seeds, and berries, as well as farming tools. You can pick these flowers yourself if you happen to look, you happen to be lucky to come across them. Some of them are quite hard to find, let me tell you. If you create yourself a plot of farming land, you can plant the seeds and see, and see them grow. I'd be happy to buy them from you. Don't forget to water the plot as well. Thanks for the tip. My pleasure. Feel free to browse my goods or let me know if you have any goods to sell. Cool, cool. Looks like it's getting dark, y'all. Like, where am I gonna sleep? Like, I'm still trying to figure out how to make a little encampment, but the encampment ain't trying to figure out how to make me, if you feel me. Can we sit here? Can we just stay here, sir? 
and you know chill for a little while oh there's another person here alex hi need something who are you what do you have for sale i'm gonna say what do you have for sale backpacks sometimes some tools that's it right hmm i mean alex seemed like he ain't really trying to talk Y'all, how am I... Okay, let me try to see if I can build something right here. <laughs> because, listen. Okay, let's see. Wooden wall. It won't let me place it here. Not even sure, like... If I'm supposed to like unlock floor fur, a floor first, but it's getting dark and you can barely see in the like you can barely see anything in the game when it's dark. So I'm going to skip ahead and wait until it gets light again, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to figure out this this situation. So let me let it get to light time again, and I'll be back, besties. okay besties and we are back at morning time so let's do a little bit more looking around trying to build our little house did we so we found that little town but let's see let's see if we can go to that little it says we need to construct a house but listen how am i supposed to construct a house with no floor Please tell me. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know what's going on or why it did that, but... Can we swim? It's like we can walk through water, but can we swim? I love the way the water looks, by the way. Look at the deer. Oh my goodness. Hi, dearie deer. How are you guys? Anyway, this would be a good little spot for like a little little home. Let's see if they let us build here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's hit tab. Okay. Foundation steps, wall. Roof, doorway, that's a ceiling, wood railing, balcony. How much wood do I have? 50. Okay, I definitely should have enough wood. Because I was just thinking that too. I'm like, did I not have enough wood? It's a wall, hatch, skylight. I think we already went through all of this. I don't know y'all I don't know why it's not letting me let's see if I can go into like the settings and see if I can find uh, doesn't look like anything in here I was gonna see like if you can find like you know how some games have like it tells you like the tips again that they gave you already. I don't know why. See, it's not letting me place anything because I was going to say like, can you place walls first? Okay. I'm definitely going to have to look up like a little tutorial video on how to like actually build something like like not actually build but like actually like put down like i don't know if it needs to be like a certain way or something here um but i was going to try let's see i know i said you can hit like q or whatever it was let's see we do a door first all right rotate Okay. 
F? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure why it's not letting me build. Not even like a balcony or anything. And go up and down there. So let's see. Let's hit Q. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to figure that out later. I did want to go to the... Um, and I will say that it does move effortlessly between keyboard and mouse. I mean, keyboard and mouse. It does move effortlessly between keyboard and mouse and uh, controller so if you did you know want to use either or it does move pretty effortlessly between the two we're just gonna just see how do we collect stuff I'm trying to figure this out okay maybe if we looked at the settings we can look how we can collect stuff with the controls see move up move down move left move right attack slash oh okay maybe it's rb oh you can zoom in and zoom out okay so it says rb yeah, I'm pressing that and it's not collecting anything. Yeah, so we definitely have to probably. I don't know. <laughs> see one. Yeah, it's not see it won't even like even when we have something in our hands. So yeah, it's definitely easier to use keyboard and mouse, I will say for now. Um, the controller support is not, I wouldn't say it's like bad. I mean, it's good for like running around and stuff, but as far as like collecting stuff or anything like that, like if you still have to use the mouse. Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here. Again, the music, the atmosphere is very relaxing. Okay, so that's jump. Obviously, we can't go over there. I do want to see if we can swim. Can we swim? Let's get rid of that. Can we swim? Looks like we can swim. Okay, okay, okay. I like that in games. You can actually swim. Yes, yes love that and it feels really smooth looks really smooth I love that I wonder if later they're gonna add like some kind of like diving future where you can like see how these are here like you go under and you can collect them wonder if they'll add that later but we'll see looks like I got some glass looks like some more glass over here So far, I am loving the game. I'm loving like how relaxing it is to just, I love games where you can just kind of just go around and just do stuff and you don't have to be, like even though it says getting started and it wants you to construct a bed, a house and build a workbench and all that, I feel like that it's something that you don't have to do like right away. I mean, and I will say nighttime gets pretty dark in the game. So I will definitely say that if you're looking, you know, to play this game, you know, um, I would definitely just, you know, let you guys know that it does get pretty. Like, I couldn't even see when I was trying to play at night. So, I almost fell. Um, yeah. Let's go back to the map. So, let's go back this way. Sorry, dear. I didn't mean to scare you guys. Yeah, let's go back this way. Let's go back to the town. I may go in the mines just to see what they kind of look like. And then I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I just kind of wanted to showcase a little bit of the video. Um, I am going to have to get, you know, used to, like, the crafting. Because, like, 
See, it looks like basically you can do like this. And I don't know, like, if I just didn't have the floor unlocked or, like, what was going on or why mine wasn't working properly. But I will definitely get that figured out. Equip watering can to fill. Oh, okay. So this is for the watering can. Let's go in here. Let's see what's down here. <laughs> Okay, looks like we have entered the mines. This is pretty cool. So, I think we should equip horse this. Um Ah, no, I didn't mean to drop that. No, no, no. I need that back. Okay. Yeah, I would say it's kind of dark in the mines too. Yeah, it's definitely kind of dark down here. I wish there was like, can you turn on this light? Uh, okay, so you can turn on lights down here, but you need like, looks like some kind of ore or something to turn it on. So we're gonna go out because it is kind of dark in here and I don't want to like, you know, you can't really see anything, which isn't fair, so. But I do like how the music changes. All right, so we are back out of the mines. And again, I think the mines would be really fun, but of course you got to have some kind of like coal, which I think you may be able to just buy from here. Yeah, okay. Look, yeah, it looks like you can just buy some coal from there. So that that is a good tip or whatever, like make sure you buy some coal beforehand and before you go down there cuz you need coal to like lanterns to see. So, I'm going to end this here i'm gonna say i definitely love the whole um aspect of the game i love how like chilled it is i love how um cozy it feels um there are a couple things that i would change um again um the more the, it needs to be a little bit more instructions on like how to construct the house because i feel like it wants me to have a floor first but i don't have a floor and i didn't find a floor unless i'm just completely missing it and if you guys know how to do that please let me know down below because i'm definitely gonna be playing more of this game this is a very chilled game and i absolutely love how like the music plays and how you can just kind of run around do your own thing you don't feel like stress or obligation but you can also like switch it to where you can make it like harder for yourself stuff like that i do absolutely love that aspect um, I'm definitely going to give like my full review of the game like once I can play a little bit more and kind of understand more of the aspects of it. But other than that, um, I really enjoyed the gameplay so far. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, please let me know down below and I will see you guys again really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video. Let me know down below if you like these kind of videos. If there's anything that you want me to try out, I can definitely try a game out for you. Anything of that nature. So yeah, I will see you guys again real soon. Please don't forget to like this video because it helps so much on my channel. I appreciate every single one of you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, bestie. Bye.